With people cooking at home more and limiting their grocery shopping, we wanted to give you some tips on how to eat as well as possible. Registered dietitian Sue Ma is joining us remotely from her kitchen in Toronto. Hey, Sue, good to see you. Hey, good morning. How are you today? I'm well. Okay, let's start with shopping. What should right. we be looking for? Well, you know, fresh, frozen, or canned are all amazing choices at this point in time. And that's because they have a long shelf life. So if you're looking for fresh veggies, for example, carrots, parsnips, potatoes, beets, these are veggies that last a long time. Frozen is amazing. I have frozen fish, frozen meat, frozen edamame beans, frozen fruits and vegetables are good choices. And of course, canned because they have a longer shelf life. So canned beans, canned soups, uh, canned fish, those are all great choices to have on hand, especially if you can't go out and get groceries on a regular basis. Yeah, exactly. You just need the room in your freezer for all that stuff, right? Yeah. For the frozen yes. stuff that is. Okay, you have a tip when it comes to storing food. What's that? Yeah, it's called the FIFO tip. First in, first out. And it's all about rotating the, the foods that you have in your pantry. So the idea here is that the foods that you put in first should be the foods that you use first. And that's because they have a best before date that's quite soon. So what I like to do is take a little piece of green tape, like painter's tape, and I write the best before date right on the tape and I stick it on the front of the can. Mm. And that way I'm not reaching, trying to turn the can upside down. There is my pantry right there. You can see the green tape on, on my cans with wow. the best before dates. And that way I know which foods I need to eat first, and it reduces food waste in the long run. And so easy to see, too. Uh, these are goals, yes. Sue. These are goals. Okay, do you have a <laughs> tip for keeping track of food in your fridge or your pantry? Well, you know, with all of this um, stocking up that we're doing right now, it's easy to lose track of what you have. So I have a food inventory that I've created, and I basically put them in different categories. So I have uh, a list of the foods that I have in my freezer, my fridge, as well as my pantry. My different categories are frozen fruits and veggies, canned fruits and veggies, any dairy or milk alternatives that I have, beans, proteins, frozen appetizers. Sometimes I like to make a meal in advance, like a lasagna, and I put it in the freezer. So I put that on my inventory. And what I do with my inventory is I highlight the foods in yellow that have um, a best before date that's soon approaching. So that flags to me that I need to use these items up quickly and it helps me plan my meals also. And when we're prepping our meals, what should we keep in mind? Well, you know, you want to look at the food inventory, right, to plan your meals and you also want to keep in mind food safety. So wash your hands before and after cooking as well as uh, after eating and before eating. Wash all your fruits and vegetables before you eat them and refrigerate your leftovers within two hours if possible. This is for food safety. If you have leftovers in the fridge, try to eat them within three days. All right, Sue, always good to see you and some great tips. Thanks so much. Thank you, good luck, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, good luck is right. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.